Todd and Julie Chrisley's daughter, Savannah Chrisley, spoke candidly about the struggles her parents are going through while doing time in jail. Savannah Chrisley, 26, discussed the hardships they are going through while spending time in several jails in Florida and Kentucky in an interview with Fox News Digital. There is no air conditioning, so it may get up to 115 degrees inside where they are. Lead-based paint, asbestos, and black mold are all present, she added. She also disclosed that they lack clean drinking water and consume food that says not for human consumption. And when you consider this, you're not just serving a length of time. Due to the circumstances you are facing, you are actually serving a life sentence. And you have no idea how that will influence your health, Savannah Chrysley said. The Chrysley Knows Best star also discussed how her mother is being affected by the bad conditions as a result of her cancer treatment. My mom overcame cancer. Evidently, these circumstances are bad for her health and the possibility of a cancer return, she said, calling it a challenge. But I made it my job to be outspoken and to speak up even when it was difficult, she continued. Savannah Chrisley also claimed that her parents had suffered as a result of her voicing her worries. She stated, unfortunately, by doing that, there has been some backlash against them. But if doing so makes people uncomfortable in order for us to affect long-term change, we will do it. The couple's lawyer, Jay Surgent, said in a statement to Entertainment Tonight, ET, that they will be released from prison sooner than expected. Both Todd and Julie receive reductions to their sentences as a result of the First Step Act, where good time credit is front-loaded, leaving Todd with 10 years and Julie with 5 years, instead of 12 and 7, he said. They are both perfect prisoners with no violations, first-time offenders, and non-violent offenders. In June 2022, Todd and Julie Chrysley were found guilty of planning to defraud Atlanta banks. They were originally given a total term of 19 years in prison in January, and after serving their sentences, they will have to undergo 16 months on probation.